Oh, hi, it's uh, Cynthia, Pepe's wife. Remember me? Yeah, I do. I don't know what you told him, but thanks. Thank you so much. Some crew taking you along as bait? That a compliment? You look... different. <laughs> Try again. Maybe you'll find some charm third time around. Hey, Rogue. Ready? Again, you. We going? Where's Johnny? Couldn't make it after all? I'm just your driver. See, you keep him on a short leash. <laughs> Wise beyond your years. This Johnny's Porsche? <laughs> Where'd you get it? That's what was in the container. The one Grayson was talking about. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Got a lot of memories in this car. Let's go. Silver Pixel Cloud, your favorite place? Once, probably. Haven't been there in ages. Drive-ins went out of style a century ago. But Silver Pixel's still hanging in there. Sounds like a preem place for a date. Thought so, too. Which is why I suggested Johnny take me there. A million years ago. So it wasn't his idea. Of course not. His idea of a romantic night out was blowing up Arasaka HQ. All right, V. Tell me what's going on. For real. Meaning? Johnny doesn't do a thing without an ulterior motive. So what's in play this time? Johnny's changed. He really does want to spend some time with you. No hooks, no lines, no sinkers. Right. Just taking it all in. <laughs> A sub. This Johnny Silverhand. Apparently, you're a positive influence on him.
Here we are. Fuck. I don't believe it. It really has been years. Managed to shut the whole thing down. V, try to get inside. Can't stop us, won't stop us. We asked you out on a date. All right. Do your thing. I'll watch. Okay, gotta be the past, this. Guess we really are going to the movies. Wham bam sha la la. All right, let's go. Well done. Try and get the projector started. I'll get us some seats. Sure thing. Right, let's go check the projector. Entrance is over here. Okay, looks like I found the projector. You wouldn't happen to know how to get it up and running. Interesting. Bushido 10. Fade to black. Must be a classic by now. Got to see. Look at that. Last played Bushido 10. Perfect. Looks like a spurt of runny shit. V, we're at a drive-in. Movie's the last thing we care about. Just want some background noise, a little blood, tits, and gore, that sort of thing. Bishida will give you that. All right, V, run along. I'll take it from here. Have fun, you crazy kids.
Grabbed us the best spots. Hop on up. Always knew things would have to change for us to just go out and catch a movie. Never imagined they'd change this much. Let's pretend it's 2015, huh? We just met, and I got no idea what a bastard you are. Sure, lured you to the movie so we could bang, by the way. <laughs> It's technically a possibility, you know. Okay, so it's 2015. If you could do it all again, what would you change? Anything at all? I do everything in my power not to lose you. Johnny. What's this? Nothing, it's just... I had a lot of time to think while you were away. What ifs and all that. I think you might be hiding something from me. Johnny, there's a heap of things I'm hiding from you. But all we got's this one night. It's more than I ever could have asked for. Rogue, I'm here on borrowed time in a borrowed body. But I'm here. Johnny, I can't. It's not right. <sighs> mean it not fair to V? Not fair to you. Tried so hard to pretend nothing's changed. To pretend I'm the same rogue you knew. Actually managed to fool myself for a little. <sighs> Get back on my own. Rogue! Fuck. Things did not go swimmingly. Nope. It was gonna be a nice night at the drive-in. Now she's mad and won't tell me what about. Any guesses? Remember Grayson? How they spoke? How weird it was? 
Word's not the word, I don't think. He was toying with her. Could be something to that. Gotta mull it over. For now, take me to North Oak. That's supposed to help you figure out Rogue? No, Carrie. Tell you once we're there. Movie was a turd wrapped in crepe paper. to competitors, their implants greatly accelerate the effects of cyberpsychosis. But the PR and legal teams of the Swiss giant managed to quickly stomp out that fire. The journalist who broke the story, Franz K., was found guilty of defamation and sentenced to 10 years. All things considered, I see a bright light on the horizon for more technologies in the coming years. My recommendation? Bye now! And never look back. This ought to work. Well, so why are we here exactly? Heard Carey got himself a buck of mansion here. Done well. Where do you hear anything about Carrie? In and about town. Scream sheets are full of shit about him. Oh, right. You weren't around. Mm-hmm. Your big night out. So what? Wanna pay him a visit? Yep. Seems as good a time as any. So I gotta hit Carrie's digs, look around, critique the drapes? Know what they're writing about him? He's depressed. Attempted suicide. What, really worried he wants to hurt himself? Who knows? Either way, could give him some pointers. Meaning you want to go in person. Gotta hand you the reins again. Yes. Behaved myself last time, didn't I? I think I warrant another furlough for good behavior. Okay. But I want to know what you plan to do. Nothing stupid, I promise. Just want to see how he's doing. How you plan to tell him it's you? Could be dealing with some real personal shit right now. Might not be the best time to mess with his head. V Care was always dealing with personal shit. That's why, in spite of everything else, we got along. Don't worry. I'll play it by ear, sensitively. 
First things first. We gotta get into that house. Okay. Just let me know when you want to take the wheel. Fugly as seafood barf. Hope it was expensive, at least. Something's gotta justify this level of tacky. the only actual necessity in this whole pad. All right. I'll give him that one. Ah, oh, beautiful butterfly Carrie emerging from his silky samurai chrysalis. Looks like he's showering. Alone, too. Good thing, believe me. Okay, leave the rest to me. I'll get him out of there. Drop one of Misty's special pills. Let's go. Okay. So much better. Now let's see what you're up for show and which you're actually strummable.
Keep playing. All right. No. no. This is some fucking joke. Hang on. What did Silverhand tell me before he died? Told you to leave Samurai. Go your own way. Clearly I was right, as I often am. Johnny fucking Silverhand. Fuck. I mean, how? Surprise. Motherfucker! Okay. Weren't expecting me. I get it. Oh, fucking contraire. Been waiting 50 years to do that. She had changed a bit. Sporting a new style, trying to stay hip. Not looking all bad yourself, either. Shit. Johnny. Oh, man. You need a drink? All right. Come on. Tell me. Why do you look like a small-time kleptopunk from the afterlife? This is V. You like him. The fuck, Johnny? Doesn't explain a thing. Nice place. Ain't seen much of it yet. Moved in after the fourth album came out. All sold well, apparently. Fuck you, Johnny. Don't even start. Who'd you sign with? Shit. With Arasaka. Mornings, I record at their studio. Then evenings, Yori pops over for a little neighborly cookout. Hmm. And who'd you really sign with? MSM Records. Another pillar of society. Come on. Sit down with me. Tell me where you've been all this time. Live here all by your lonesome? Nah, I've got my cook, Ariel, but you know, he's off today. Miguel... What am I... Not your biz, Jill. Sit down. Start talking. Steal yourself for a long story. I just really want it to be tragic. Sad as all fuck over all those years. Cause if I hear you spent them with the nomads, open road, winning your hair, or cool and relaxed in orbit, and now you've just popped by to shit all over my life, well, I'ma lose my damn mind. Oh, it is a heartbreaker. <laughs> <laughs> 